And uh, now, you know, you have done a very important job two days. And uh, the jury in a few minutes will go for uh, deliberation. But before, I will uh, ask Kamarad Vavi, are you ready to come here? I believe that before that we close, this session, one of the most important thing that we can do is to give the floor to Vavi. Vavi is the head of the COSATU. And uh, we have worked with the COSATU during the anti-apartheid movement so long, so strong. Come here. And uh, I was believing that to to give the last word for the session before that I say you goodbye and then I thank all everybody is to ask Vavi to say something. You have the floor. Well, good uh, evening, Chairperson, and to everybody. Thank you very much again for the opportunity to just say a few words. Firstly, let me just express our collective gratitude on behalf of millions of South Africans who love freedom and justice, and this year celebrating 100 years of uh, the struggle led by the ANC against the system of apartheid, which was declared as a crime against humanity. And thank, thank you very much again for holding the last tribunal in that country, a country that we have played such an important role in liberating. I'm a black South African who was born into the conditions that so many of you did everything in your power to end. For that, we shall never, and we shall forever, rather, be indebted to each one of you and millions across the globe for helping release Nelson Mandela. Today, I return to you to speak about my own personal experiences, and I don't have time to talk about everything, but uh, I was born into conditions of uh, child labor, born on a farm on a date, a month, and a year, no one remembers in my family. Because farm workers then were undocumented and did not even have the most of the basic facilities such as hospitals and schools. I know what life was like under the brutal regime supported by a equally brutal employers whose profits depended on the creation and the maintenance of slavery conditions. I know the pain of humiliation, deprivation, and hunger. I have known what it is like to sleep in the open in the middle of the coldest winter following the evictions of my parents in the farms. When I was involved myself in a struggle for freedom and justice, I personally suffered oppression, torture, detention without trial in the bandstands which were created by the apartheid regime. I've witnessed countless massacres of our people, countless deaths and detention, countless hangings of freedom fighters, forced removals and black-on-black -black violence instigated by the agents of the regime. Only last month, we were mourning yet again the brutal killing of Steve Biko on the 12th of September, 1977. Apartheid was correctly declared a crime against humanity. I followed the history of the people of Palestine with keen interest, owing to my own background, with my own and my people's history, it appears to me that there will be something fundamentally wrong with me and indeed every South African if we were to be indifferent to the suffering visited on the people of Palestine for so many decades. The Russian, oh, I'm sorry, the Russell, the Russell Tribunal 
held in Cape Town after listening to the testimonies of the people of South Africa and those from Palestine came to the correct conclusion that Israel is practicing apartheid against the people of Palestine. I believe that whilst apartheid was atrocious beyond the description of the words, the difference between South Africa and the Palestine is that the latter is facing an aggressive attempt to drive all the citizens of that country into exile and take away their right to citizenship. Today, only around 20%, only around 22% or 20% of the land that used to belong to the people of Palestine remains. As we heard yesterday, Palestinians constitute the biggest group of refugees in the world, with around 6 million having been forced to flee. Secondly, the apartheid regime had an army that could defeat the army of the combined African force. But as brutal as they were, they never used chemical weapons and most sophisticated weapons on citizens. Yes, there were bandustans, but there was no physical erection of the highest wall of up to eight meters and the longest of around 832 kilometers when completed to enforce apartheid as we are witnessing in Palestine today. My disappointment is the absence of the American unions, together with many of our friends who played such an important role in the defeat of apartheid in South Africa. This makes me to recall the words of one African leader who once in his attempt to mobilize women to stand up against a patriarchal system in his country in Burkina Faso, once declared, and I quote him, I hear the roar of the women's silence. Today, let me say, I can hear the roar of the American Union's silence. The ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at time of challenge and controversy. This is a quote from a well-known American civil rights activist in the form of a Martin Luther the King Jr. My challenge to those who helped free us in South Africa is the people of Palestine are crying. Here they are crying. Thank you very much. I will tell you one thing, is that today, do you know that in Brussels, at the time of the struggle against apartheid, because the ENC delegate was victim of an attempt, we sent message throughout the civil servant of the European Union to collect money. With this money, we buy an ENC house in Brussels. And do you know what is the ENC house today? Is the embassy of Palestine. So maybe it's the best hope for the Palestinian. They are in your house. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let me ask you something now. To succeed with this kind of exercise, we have need a lot of experts, a lot of legal experts, a lot of witnesses, a, a, a nice and important jury. But also, what we have need was all these people having work during months now to be sure that we have this nice opportunity to come together and to do and to pass this today to make this marvelous work that we have done for the right of the Palestinian people. So that I will ask you first, now you can clap, I will ask you to receive, come here, all, the, all, all these people have work and 
Miriam was the team leader of all this team, having done a so good job, Miriam. So you see how many of them have worked to succeed. And I, I, I ask to have some, some floors, but I don't know where they are. Ten, ten, ten. Oh, oh. Miriam. Miriam, come here. And maybe. And it's very strange because how to say thank you to the experts, the witnesses, all the members of the jury. And I decided to take Flora and to give this floor to Stefan Essen. So not only do I feel over, overloaded with, with dignity and pleasure through this bunch of flowers, but I will just, to end this session, give you a little Shakespeare sonnet. <laughs> Let us try whether it comes out well. It's all about love, and we need love to make progress in human rights. It goes like this. Let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediment. Love is not love which alters when it alteration finds or bends with the remover to remove. Oh, no. It is an ever-fixed mark that looks on tempests and is never shaken. It is a star to every wandering bark whose worth unknown, although it's height be taken, loves not time's fool, though rosy lips and cheeks within its bending sickles compass come. Love alters not with its brief hours and weeks, but bears it out even to the edge of doom. If this be error and upon me proved, I never writ, nor no man ever loved. And finally, and finally, a flower for Pierre. <laughs> and the last word is to, to ask the audience that you are. And I thank you very much to be still here tonight. Thank you very much for your contribution because it's a civil, uh, a, it's a popular tribunal, and without you, we are not a popular tribunal. So thank you very much for your commitment, for your assistance, and for all what you will do with the conclusion of the, this session and with the global conclusion that we will build together next March in Brussels. 
So that's thank you very much. And now I don't ask you to stand up because you stand up, but I will ask the jury to leave the room. Yes, why not? So all the jury will come here.